Best Tips for Memorizing Things Faster Than Others Have you ever watched the film Limitless? If you've seen it, you'll recall the main character discovering a rare pill that allowed him to retain all of his knowledge and experience and utilize it anytime he wanted to. We would learn throughout our lives, if only this were true. However, we do not know everything since we forget a lot of things. What causes this to happen, and how could we improve our memory? Bulletproof Perspective will teach you about some basic memorizing techniques as well as a universal method that can retrieve any data from your memory whenever you need it. To begin, consider why we forget things. Think of your brain as a hard disk with limited storage space. Do you remember Sherlock Holmes? He couldn't identify all the planets within the solar system. This was not because he did not listen to the teacher in elementary or something but because he was simply too brilliant to remember such unimportant knowledge he purposefully removed data he wouldn't ever need this is similar to what your brain does it defends you from information overload which is why all new memory is kept in the short-term memory rather than the long one that's why if you don't use it or repeat it you'll immediately forget it Hermann Ebbinghaus, a German psychologist, studied memory and its principles, and he discovered the forgetting curve, which reveals that after just one hour of learning anything new, we lose more than half of what we learned. Oh wait, what was that? Kidding aside, we only recall approximately 30% of it a day later. So, how are you going to remember everything? Spaced repetition is a type of memorizing method. To keep knowledge in your thoughts for a longer period of time, aim to store it in your long-term memory. Forced memorization is ineffective in this situation because your brain cannot quickly process the knowledge and build strong associations. It all relies on the reason you are studying something in this case. What is the technique to memorize something quickly? The first case is when you have to grasp the information rapidly and then forget most of it. This appears to be standard test preparation, right? When you had that only one night to study for a test. First, to quickly recall knowledge, repeat it immediately after learning it. Second, the next repetition should be 15 to 20 minutes. It is not necessary to return to the data between repetitions. Simply rest and do something else to allow your brain to relax. Third, after six to eight hours, repeat the learning material for the third time. Fourth, and the last repeat should occur 24 hours following the initial interaction with the information. Try this strategy the next time you have to learn anything quickly and let us know how it went in the comments section, all right? So, how do you remember things for a long time? If you wish to remember something for a long time, you must increase the memorization period. Here is the memorization approach. The first repeat should happen directly after learning, like in the prior technique. Second is after 20 to 30 minutes, repeat the material, but this time things are different. The third repeat should take place only one day afterwards. The fourth will be in two to three weeks. And fifth or the final stage will be conducted in two to three months. You may learn anything for a very long period with this method because the brain believes that if you return to the knowledge, it must be important, therefore it is not wiped immediately. These are 11 easy methods to assist you memorize things more easily and quickly. Counting backwards from 11. Number 11. Make an effort to comprehend what you learn. You've undoubtedly had the sense of learning something but not understanding the information. Typically, such learning becomes a nightmare since it appears to be memorizing a poetry with no aria. Another disadvantage of studying something you don't comprehend is that if you forget a portion of it, you won't be able to continue. We don't advocate doing it this way because you've only learned the sequence of words rather than their real meaning. You should go through the whole piece of information then determine the primary point or points. Attempt to retell what you've read by using your own words. Do it as, as quickly as possible. If you succeed, it shows you grasp the information and it will now be much easier to remember the details. Number 10. 
Discover the most important information. Set your priorities right if you think that you have a lot on your plate. Decide what you must know and what you could get by without, and then concentrate on the important points of what you must memorize. If you have any spare time, spend it to the less important element. Spend it to the less important element in your spare time. Number 9. The Influence of Serial Position While learning something new, note that the items near the beginning and conclusion are the most easily remembered. Use this impact to your advantage by sorting the information such that the most important bits are placed at the beginning and conclusion. Number 8. The Hypothesis of Interference Change your focus from one subject to another, from one task to another. For example, if you're preparing for a public speech and have been studying the manuscript for 15 minutes, then you need time to take a break. Take a rest every 15 to 20 minutes since this is when concentration is at its peak and individuals tend to lose focus. Therefore, the best part you can do is shift your focus to something entirely else, such as playing the guitar or viewing a funny video. Another thing to be cautious about is learning similar knowledge. According to interference theory, identical ideas get mixed up and turn into a mess, which is why we advocate taking a long break before beginning anything new if you believe you're about to study a subject that is even somewhat similar to what you've previously learned. Number 7. Opposite Things Opposites are easily remembered. For instance, if you're studying a new language, then you need to memorize it a day and night. In this method, you will establish a mental relationship between these two things. Thus, if you forget one, the other one will assist you remember. Number 6. Create Your Mind Palace This relates to Sherlock Holmes again. Remember how he was able to go in his mind palace for hours hunting for information? The goal is to find specific data with a precise area. For instance, if you are sitting in your room, then connect the information you are learning in your room. You got to repeat this many times. Following that, recall how the room appears in your mind and repeat what you studied this way. Or split all of the stuff you have to memorize into a few pieces. Learn these pieces in different areas of your home or in other parts of your town. This approach, the memorized knowledge will not be dull or uninteresting. It will be linked to other memories, sense of areas, people you met, and so forth. Number 5. Make use of nail words. The goal of this strategy is to connect one learned topic to another. For instance, if you have to memorize the French word nail, use this technique. Try looking up wall hammer as well as other terms that are logically related to nail. Number 4. Make stories. If you are required to memorize a significant amount of data in a specific order, consider putting the parts together into a story. It is essential that the pieces are linked together by some sort of storyline. Hence, if you forget something, you may always remember what was intended to occur next in the plot. Well, it may appear that you need to do much more effort, but trust us when we say that it works miracles. Number 3. Make use of a tape recorder. Thus, record the knowledge you're learning in some way and listen to it a few times. Sure, it may take some time for you to become familiar with the sound of your own voice. It may appear strange or terrible at first, as I had to do. This approach is useful since it enables for many kinds of memory work. You read the data first, therefore you saw it with your eyes, and afterwards you heard it with your ears. The further you have interaction with the information you're learning, the easier you will remember it. Number 2. Visualization During learning, employ your body language to effectively trigger muscle memory. Number 1. Pick the best materials. Do not use old books or outdated learning techniques. Things have altered dramatically since the old books were published. Instead of wasting time on something that could come out to be incorrect, go online and look up the most up-to-date information on the topic. That's all for the best tips for memorizing things faster than others. Do you have any further suggestions for memorization? 
If you do, please let us know about it in the comments section down below. Thanks for tuning in to Bulletproof Perspectives. Stay bulletproof.